My name is Moss Rudley. I'm an exhibit specialist with the National Park Service Historic Preservation Training Center located in Frederick, Maryland. I supervise uh, 18 craft people, mostly masons and uh, mason related activities. Um, we, we do a variety of building construction throughout the United States and the National Park Service system and other federal agencies. The work that we do can stretch anywhere from Hawaii, Alaska, anywhere in the continental United States, wherever a historic site is that might need our services, we're non-appropriated through Congress, so all of our work is generated through projects that, that we take on and develop with our clients. We found that, that the natural hydraulic lines tend to be very user friendly for us. Um, we go through a lot of them at times um, and some might question our use in that from a cost standpoint, but we feel that the, the historic sites are, are better off for doing so. Historic masonry was designed to kind of create a whole building envelope that, that worked in system and when you start to change one of those components, i.e. changing the mortar, it, it can have a detrimental effect uh, in a variety of places. We've done numerous projects in Harpers Ferry and, and over the years a lot of the brick structures um, that have had Portland put in, not necessarily by us, but we've had to come back and redo work that has where the substrate, the brick, has actually spalled out due to the inability of the mortar joint to pass moisture through them, uh, the, the inability of it to breathe properly through, through the walls. Even in circumstances we've run into where it's been specified by an architect or an engineer to be used on a, on a particular job, just the lack of knowledge by the contractor, the lack of experience, the lack of exposure makes them not trusted either. Um, there was a circumstance in Harpers Ferry where NHL was spec'd for a stucco mix on, on a building. It then, the contractor came to us um, because of mutual friendship between a couple of employees and asked us to give them a quick lesson on it. However, they didn't believe that it would set up upon its own. And they used it in, in a context of as simply and add to a Portland mix. Um, I think I believe it was NHL 5 that was specced in that, that job and or 3.5 I can't remember but they didn't believe that just mixing that with sand would provide them with a product that's set. So on their own they modified the mix and changed it. Anybody can go take a test nowadays and become a builder or a contractor. They don't necessarily have to have the skills development that, that went along with it in previous times. And if your only job is mix and mortar and various things and you don't know, so it's, it's a lack of education on lots of, lots of people's part. Um, and a lack of available knowledge of where to find the products is also another one. Um, you can't go to Home Depot and buy lime orders. You can't, most masonry supply houses don't carry them. So it's kind of that getting the, the proper, because once we've introduced them to, because we do a lot of trainings throughout the country, and once we've introduced them to people, they've become at least knowledgeable of them, have, have get knowledge of where to purchase these materials and find them to be user friendly. So to the lay person, they're not, chemists and they're not they don't quite understand the whole chemical properties and even trying to explain it to people they, they don't really understand it it's just kind of a, a disconnect and, and how that was conveyed historically I don't I don't really know I don't think it was really conveyed historically other than this would work and this is what we we use um, so the terminology the understanding of it is definitely somewhat of a intimidating factor to some. Um, most masons like want to know what do I how, how do I mix it and how do I use it? It's been kind of very clearly proven over time that harder is not always better. Um, there was a big period where that was 
the kind of norm that using modern mixes and modern mortars was a much was believed to be much better and in some circumstances it, it is proven to be just not detrimental however part of our mission is to preserve in kind and when when available use in kind or appropriate materials and the use of lime and lime based mortars in historic masonry is a good way to kind of keep that continue that tradition along